Okay, in this tutorial, we're going to take advantage of Blender's powerful built-in paint program so we can draw a texture and then map it onto this plane right here like this. Just something simple. And this will work in Blender Render Mode or within Blender Cycles as well. But in those cases, you have to set up your textures differently. But you can look on the... Uh, I have a playlist for Cycles and Texturing if you want to see how it's done in cycles mode. We're just going to use Blender Render for starters. So with the plane set, there's a couple things I need to do. Let me get this clear here. Um, one is I'm going to need a texture for this, but before I do anything, I'm going to go into edit mode like here and everything's selected. I'm going to bring up the toolbar with T. Basically I mark the seam and then I have to unwrap it like that. So now I've unwrapped it. So I'm going to press T, get rid of that. And then I'll get a new window. I'll get a UV window as well. So there's my unwrapped look over in here. And then I want to apply a texture to it. Now normally to do a texture, I have to come over here to the texture like this and give it a new texture. And I want to give it an image texture. So I'll click in here, right here not there, <laughs> there, image, <clears throat> like this. And then I'm going to want to open up an image, but before I open it, I want to create one. So the cool thing about the UV image editor is that you can access texture paint, and you do it through here. This is the, You can actually do it over here, but I don't recommend this approach. You have texture paint here. I would just say stick with it in here. You just go into paint mode, and then when you come in here, you press the N key like this and you can bring up this paint and this is going to be the size of the brush well that's too big for what I want to do so I'm just going to press F and that allows me to adjust the brush size in real time alright so I want a new canvas so I'll press canvas I'll use a 1024 by 1024 and notice it comes up black well if you, you have to use your scroll wheel to scroll back down like that to be able to see the whole thing here and then by default there's my radius and strength and there's my color well let's give it a maybe a blue color like this All right so that'll be the color I paint with over in here in this mode and you can see here I can just start painting away and it's powerful it's got a lot of features built into this uh, paint program so if you don't have a paint program installed don't worry about it this has lots of cool effects like in here you can do things and then down in here under the paint stroke you have all kinds of effects, airbrush, you have everything, these, smear, nice smear tools, the whole nine yards. So Blender, like I said, it's a powerful little program that's built in. So let's say this is going to be my texture, all right? Now once I have my texture, this is, it's currently labeled this here. Well, I want to be able to save it. So I'm going to come over here to image and I'm going to save the image. And I have a directory for Blender painted textures right there and I'll call it you know, I don't know, color variety, nothing fancy. And I'll save the image. Okay, now that I have the image saved, we'll go press and I'll move this back over here so it's kind of out of the way. We'll focus on this now. So this has been, we have already marked the seam and unwrapped it over in here, but now we need to open the texture. And that's when I'm in texture mode up here. I can come down here and open and go back into that same directory and click color variety and there it is painted on top and it looks all these little dots and that's because I'm in edit mode but when I leave edit mode there it is mapped onto the scene right like that now you'll notice my orientation is this little piece here is facing here sideways that, but that's because my x-axis here I have s twisted like this this is your normal view x like that when you look at it this direction here so we've mapped it on and if you can't see it it may be because you're working in solid mode and you can't see things in solid mode like that to texture mode and also make sure that uh, if you bring up N here you come down here to the display normally I'm always set to GLSL virtually all the time because I like to run with real-time shadows and better lighting but yours might be set to multi texture like that so then you don't get these nice effects with the lights so I would recommend working in GLSL mode if you like. I just kind of like having my lights and kind of everything preset as I go. Okay, well that's it for this lesson, and I'll see you in the next lesson.